Hello YouTube, Josh Max here, and today we're back with another Minecraft basic video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a ender portal. So these portals are used to travel to the end and back again. So they're very simple to create, just like uh, nether portals, and work on a similar principle, although the actual blocks that sort of materialize in the center of the portal uh, are physical blocks. So they can be a little tricky to actually remove, and also can be rather confusing. Okay, so what you're gonna need is an ender portal frame and eye of ender. So you're gonna need like let's see let's see, eighteen, I think. I think that's correct. Anyway, okay. So you wanna put three here, three here, this is the ender frame by the way. Three here and three here. So that's the main frame completed. All you need to do now is get your eye of ender and place the eyes on top of the ender frame. So on the last one, as you can see, we just created an ender board. So now we are in the end. There's the dragon, looking a bit scary. Whoa, just nearly fell. Uh, luckily we are in creative mode, so the dragon won't kill me, theoretically. So yeah. That's uh, that's pretty much how it's done. Now uh, the portal isn't available in the end itself, so uh, pretty much you have to defeat the dragon or die. One of the two. I'm not too sure if ender portals work in the end. I've never really tried, but let's give it a shot. Let's see, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's try this. Chance this won't work, or it might screw things up quite badly. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, the, the, they they don't work in in the end. Okay, so that's how to create an ender portal. I'm Josh Max, and you can find me on my website at joshmax.com. You can email me josh at joshmax.com. I'm on Twitter at joshmax. That's my other YouTube videos at youtube.com forward slash joshmax. And do be sure to subscribe for latest tips, tricks, and news from me. And until next time, over and out.